Okay, what's wrong? I have been evacuating this thing for three hours. Notice I have an OL. No micron reading at all. Why? Okay, I'm going to tell you why. Let's look at why this is happening. Okay, there's our problem. What is that problem? Right there. There's no cap on this thing. I'm pulling a vacuum. What happens when you pull vacuum on a Schrader valve? It leaks. Remember, if you look at the Schrader valve with high pressure inside the pipe here, it tends to push the valve closed. When you pull a vacuum on it, it sucks it open. Okay, now I'm going to put a cap on that with a gasket in it, O-ring gasket, and let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to put the cap on. Okay, watch. Okay, what's happening here? The Schrader valve tends to close as the pressure inside the unit increases. If I leave a cap off, this is a cap with the O-ring inside, in good shape, then the Schrader is going to open because there's a negative pressure inside the system and it's going to push it open. This is something you got to remember guys. Keep a good cap with new caps on every fitting that you're not pulling the evacuation from. Look at how fast this moved down. Pretty soon we're gonna be below 500 micron. Remember that if you have caps on the unit, now I told you the caps are really dust caps. They are for pressure, but for vacuum, they're really not. So when you're Pulling a vacuum, make sure every fitting that does not have a hose hooked up to it has a new cap. Okay, I hope this makes sense to you. This is one of the little tricks with this type of work that you just got to know. It'll drive you nuts if you don't know what's going on. Anyway, new caps every time when you're pulling evacuation.